Adam Pearson is used to people staring. He was born with neurofibromatosis, a condition that causes non-cancerous tumours to grow on nerve tissue. I think it's a case of learning when people are just being curious and when they're being kind of ignorant or malicious. Like, I had an incident when I was out, in, out and about in Croydon just doing some shopping and some schoolgirls came in. Um, they started kind of talking about me really loudly, like I wasn't in the room and taking photos on their camera phones. And every part of me wanted to just take the phone and break it in front of them. It hasn't always been easy, but Adams never let his appearance hold him back. And he's not shy. This billboard was displayed at King's Cross Station. I like the attention. Being a television producer, he's used to being behind the camera, but things changed when London director Jonathan Glazer offered him a role in his new film, Under the Skin. He then found out he'd be acting alongside one of the biggest names in Hollywood, Scarlett Johansson. When was the last time you had a girlfriend? Never happened. As a big kind of comic book Marvel guy, I was just like, oh my word, I'm going to be working with an Avenger. In the film, Johansson plays an alien who roams the streets of Glasgow abducting and killing unsuspecting men. Adam is one of her would-be victims. The film's kind of about acceptance and how society looks through alien eyes, kind of without knowledge and without prejudice. And so it seemed like a really good role that I could kind of really get behind and sink my teeth into. But I think if, for me, if one person sees it and it kind of changes the way they think about disability and disfigurement, then I've done my job. Despite the stares, the taunts and the bullying he's endured, Adam's confidence is rarely knocked. He now works with the charity Changing Faces and hopes his newfound fame will go a long way to challenge the stigma of disfigurement. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.